Adam, a really hard fought 1 0 victory today against Julie on New Year's Day. You must be absolutely buzzing with that. Yeah, I thought the obviously the result's great, but um, more, more pleasing was the performance. We knew we had to react from the, the previous game. Um, we knew we had to put a fight in performances in because this is a really tough place to come. Um, I've got a lot of. Um, a lot of positive thoughts about Chorley and their team. I think they're a hard team to play against. I've not seen anybody they've played against uh, dominate them, so we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but I thought over the, the course of 90 minutes, we, we more than deserved the win. Obviously, one of the, uh, the big decisions, one that might have surprised a few fans, was leaving Nick Horton on the bench to start with. What was the sort of thought process behind that one? Um, a little bit of both. In terms of tactically, we knew that the first half, especially, was going to be scrappy and it was going to be a fight. Um, Nick's played a lot of football as well, so um, with, with the, the burden he carries of being the best player in the league, sometimes he, he needs a rest as well. But um, it was a more of a tactical move to, to win the battle first, and then as the game opens up, we bring on Nick's quality, charms his quality, and it made the difference in the end. Like you say, that, that decision to, to, to rest Nick just sort of gave him, sort of came to fruition, and then the really good ball in and. Uh, I say a great header across goal from Alex Whitmore just nestling in the bottom corner in 92nd minute. You can't really time it any better, can you? Yeah, I don't think a winning goal gets much better. I think it's it's pleasing for Wits and it's pleasing. We've got a centre half on the score sheet. It's something we spoke about about them guys adding more to us in terms of goals. Um, with Nick, you know, you're going to get the del delivery 100 100 times out of 100. So um, it's important that them boys step up like they did today and and, and win us matches. And obviously now the uh, the attention turns to Brack uh, Banbury. Sorry next week and as well and, uh, and try and keep that unbeaten run to 2023 going and really try and close the gap on the top of the league now. Yeah, that's the, that was the aim at the start. That'll be the aim till the end. Um, we won't get too carried away with a win and we won't get too, too down with a low. It's important that we, uh, with a loss, sorry, it's important that we stay consistent in our mindset, uh, consistent in our performance. If we do that, we'll, we'll get to where we need to be at the end of the season. But I'm not going to lie to you, we're going to enjoy this victory. Um, it's nice to get one over your local rivals. Um, in a very, very tough game. Um, so, yeah, we'll enjoy this one and then we move on swiftly. And finally, a word on the uh, the fantastic travelling support, obviously uh, rewarded in the end with that 90th minute winner and some great scenes after the final whistle. Yeah, it, it was brilliant to see Amir in the numbers today and um, we need all of them to come back to our next home game now and, and make sure that we get that atmosphere at home. It, it really does make a big difference to the players. Um, it gives them that extra that extra edge, that extra 10% to, to push on and keep pushing on. Um, and they were brilliant today and we're glad we gave them something to go home smiling about.